Hello, this is Sheila with Conscious Conversation Central, and today is Wednesday, January 17th. Hey, look, y'all, I didn't look over there. <laughs> Yay! I just had to point that out. Um, and, and in that video that I just released late, yes, I released it late, <laughs> I said I was going to start calling you guys my posse. <laughs> so, I'm with my posse. <laughs> And to, uh, so I'm with BZ Rieger and, and with Lisa Rush. And thanks, guys, for coming and talking again. <laughs> and so before we started recording and we were discussing what we were going to talk about, I had a question. And so then we said, hey, let's talk about that. And um, sometimes I don't know, BZ, if I'm... I hear a lot of people talking about you have to do your work. You have to do your inner work, going within and doing the work. And I would like to know what is your take? And I know, and I want Lisa's take too um, on what the work is. I think I know. I think I do it. But I'd like to hear what everyone else thinks as well. So... Lisa, you want to go first or you want me to go? Um, okay. Jump in. Okay. Well, um, for me, I think it is to, um, what I do is I go within to, um, my work is to figure out who I am and um, how, and, and what I've learned is that I'm a creator being and how I am creating. So um, my job is to know what, what it is that I'm creating. <laughs> and so for me, there's, there's many ways. I'm about to uh, lose my battery, so I'm gonna plug it. So um, I use my focus and attention. Um, and so I like to meditate and I quiet the mind and tune into my heart. I tune into my body. I've recently discovered that my body has a lot of information for me. It is, um, I see my body as a universe. Each cell, science will tell you, is full of nothing. <laughs> and I'm going to say it's everything. <laughs> So inside of each cell is, is eternity and all of everything is there. So for me, the, the work is to go within and, and discover what's there. And then um, I want to use what I learned there to create the world that's out here. So for me, that's what that is. But I'd love to hear BZ. <laughs> well, well when, when Sheila asked that, um, the first time before we recorded and now the first way to describe it came to mind is that it's not, it's a way of being okay above and beyond anything else. Sure. And by that, I mean, um, because oftentimes it's not, you know, fix it once and you're done. Because you're always, you're always expanding and there always are layers within you. Mm -hmm. um, and the thought came out to me a lot, many, many years ago when they had the new, they were, there was a lot of conversation and governmental jockeying about the labeling of organic food. Mm -hmm. And really to what extent that was kind of a, a, a silly, ridiculous oxymoron because if you're anyone who's ever you know I was a grower and, and you go to look at what the regulations are you basically have to live on an organic world in order to meet their requirements well if you look around outside lately <laughs> we don't live in an organic world so yeah. and with the you know all the air and so on and so forth so um, it would annoy myself and a lot of other growers who that's, they grew in a sustainable way that wasn't full of chemicals because that was the way that they walked in the world. So it was a way of being for them, not something to do because you could label it that way and then 
charge a higher price for because somehow you were giving somebody something great. Um, so anyways, that's what came to mind when you asked the question, um, doing the work. It's going to be different things for different people. Um, and you can use different tools to do it. But the, to, to sum it up to say that it is a way of being really is pretty accurate. Um, because when you, when you hold it that way, it takes you much less time to get in touch with the fact that you're a creator being, which is why I say it that way. Um, and it's, it's tuning into all of you, not just the thinking up here. And choosing your own perceptions, um, not taking the ones that are often handed, shoved on, put upon, weighted down on you from everyone, from as you're a kid, from parents, from school, from authority figures, from siblings, from relatives, whatever it is, all the way through all of our lives. Yeah. Well, and that, so, would include, that would include spiritual teachers and gurus and those sort of things too. Absolutely. When, Absolutely. when a person goes to seek for what the work is. Right. And, and, and begins to, because, you know, I <clears throat> have been seeking and looking and, you know, that was part of the whole puzzle piece collecting thing to begin with mm -hmm. is trying to find a way into tuning into myself and how do you do it? And what's the, you know, that kind of thing. Again, I, 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 I'm, I'm now I'm, you know, really comprehending that the, the whole reason why they say it's an inside job and, 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 and everyone has to find their own way because you know, because that, that, that's apparently that's the only way. I mean, if you, because if you do just, I, I tried a lot of that other stuff. That's why this question actually has come up, you know, because again, not that I'm doubting that I'm doing it right, but it is a question. I mean, you know, because yeah. Well, the inside job comes from a couple different things. First of all, you are source. You're never not source. You're never not connected to source. You're never not a creator being. It's just what you are. So you have to get over that. And that comes from within inside you. It's not a cloak that you wear. It's not a magic cape that you throw on. It's, it's not a secret handshake. <laughs> not a badge that you oh, earn. Yeah. Right. Oh, you know, come on, I wanted a cloak. You know, you're, you're, not, you're not a groupie in the, along the right, you know, guru or, or whatever it is. Um, oh, man, I wanted to be a groupie too. <laughs> <laughs> you just busted my chops all over the place. I'm sorry. <laughs> and, and since you are... Um, you're unique and part of the one all at the same time. And, and all of us are on our journey. Actually, many of us have started back that, that discussion of the trajectory into yeah. being a factualized um, singularity of source in body, in, in a physical body, which is what ascension in body is. Um, it's an inside job because that reality and all of that it, entails on all multi-dimensional levels can only be accessed from within that frequency vibrational signature that unique energetic signature that is you or you or me or all the others that's the whole idea of becoming a factualized singularity isn't it and that's yeah. partly why now see that's <laughs> That's something that I just now this moment comprehended. Just that, that portion right there. I mean, I, I was already feeling like I was getting it, but the idea that, not the idea, the truth that what you said specifically was the trajectory of the factualized 
in body and how and and, and it's within that signature that one singular sensation yeah factualized signature energy frequency vibration it has to be from within that i'm sorry i'm really just repeating you as i'm well each of us has a unique energetic vibrational signature each one is unique and as you get better and better at reading energy and connecting and and seeing all that you can actually recognize signatures so someone can send i'll just give use me as an example someone can send me an email purporting to be from a certain person and i can feel into the email you know unless i've got a lot of stress going on and i'm not you know and i've been pulled down into a thing which can sometimes you know be intentionally on <laughs> done on purpose while the email comes up but this is an example <laughs> i can tell that the email may say it's from whoever it is and some things but i can also tell that that's not it was not sent by that being does that make sense yes yes would, would that okay so That kind of brings up a, f a thing for me. I have been, I have had an occasion where I, this has been some time ago now, approximately a year ago. And so I was in a different space consciousness wise. But I, I felt a specific person's energy around me. We had never met that person, had only knew them from, you know, over the internet specifically, but I knew, and I was alone in the house, but I had the distinct feeling that that energetic signature, now I didn't know that's what that was mm -hmm. back then, was around me. Mm-hmm. So that, that, and at the time, I didn't really uh, comprehend what was going on. So, and I, I kind of wrote it off to, well, you're just, you know, you're thinking things or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so that's more than likely that that person was either projecting their consciousness in and around or just simply thinking of me was that a possibility well it depends how how in tune they are with their energy because just thinking of you um unless they have stepped more into you know our energies are very big and we cram them into this small vessel and so we make it small and we have a habit of living small and of course you know we're indoctrinated to be small right um so Unless the being that you're feeling into whose signature was is standing fully in their beingness, it would have been that they were sending a hello. In other words, they would have had to do a more active, played a more active role in actually bringing themselves into your space that you were in. Well, this is a being that I'm pretty sure at that moment of, of time was fully capable of something that like that as they purported to be capable of something uh -huh. like that. Yep. Yeah. And the, and the other thing, you know, I mean, there's, yes. I mean, the simple answer would be yes, that that's the case. You know, people, you can do that now. I mean, everybody can do that. Everybody has these abilities. And again, that's, that, that ties right back into what the conversation is. That's part of the inner work. And, um, <laughs> So let's see, uh, um, too many things coming in too fast. So um, a lot of times people hold uh, the work that, you know, that phrase, do, you have to do the work, you got to do the inner work, right? As, as something's missing, so I got to study up, I, I've got to you know, learn these ideas, I've got to learn these kind of thought processes, 
because I'm because I'm missing something, you know. So, um, well, that's certainly what I thought. Yeah, and that's great because it sells books. <laughs> it's good marketing um, from a from a linear perspective, um, but we're not missing anything. We are not missing any pieces. There, there is no lack within us. The only lack that we may hold and then can say, well, yeah, look, look at all that lack and point outside is because, but the outside has to come from us first. So this comes first and that then shows up afterwards. And as this changes, it, it, that's why there's a little bit of a delay, although these days not much a delay anymore, where... Mm -hmm. You know, as this shifts in here, out there, you know, the picture changes. It's kind of like, think of this if, as, you know, you're a television set, and as you tune the dial in here, it takes a little bit for the channel to change out there. And, and now it's, you know, it's, it's pretty quick. Um, but, but nobody is lacking anything. And that's why you're not gaining anything either. You know, you're not gaining new abilities. You're not gaining new... Um, You're not gaining anything new because you've always had it within you. What you're shifting is your perspective and your awareness and your knowing and your linear cognitive ability to see, feel, sense, hear, know those are within you. And just like you might reach over to your computer and flip this switch or you know, to do that and, and, you know, you got a new program on your computer, use a computer example, and it has, it can do all these different capabilities. Well, so when you get new software, you know, you got to learn how to use the software. And oftentimes, while we're in the software metaphor, you know, if you use the same thing over and over again, and then you shut down the program and go do something else, you come back and you do it a couple more times, you remember it. If you use it once or twice, and then you forget and you go someplace else and you go back, you go, how do I do that again? Right. Yeah. You know, it's the same kind of thing. So, and, and it's actually a very good analogy and no, I'm not talking about AI. <laughs> it's a very good analogy in that your, your physical vessel mm -hmm. is this amazing, absolutely amazing piece of technology. It's organic, physiological technology. And you suffuse that technology with all of your energy. So, this will sound silly, but you know, Say, say you dove, you took your energy and you dove it into a computer, which is a box and it's a box, it's technology, but it can't move. Well, no, actually, because now you made it so its hands pop out and it can move. It's the same kind of thing. And so with that metaphor to hold it that way, you're actually turning back on, firing back up, Right. Um, reconnecting the the different pathways in there so that it fully comes back online again. Does that make sense? Yes. So and, and we'll talk about this more in another conversation because it's a huge conversation on its own, but that's where what is often referred to, although incorrectly labeled that way, as, as ascension symptoms and such is, you know, what that is. It's not. It's it's actually your light encodements and and how those manifest and and the and the what has to happen within that to get things to come online. Right. And is it our frequency that activates that onlineness? This is what yes, I'm working on currently. Yeah. It's a com. Yes. Absolutely. And and it the simple answer is yes. That's absolutely correct. Okay. And part of how you get to that frequency is by doing a variety of different things. And it can be very different. You know, you do not have to do step one through 10. Right. With three addendums to raise a vibrational frequency 
and hold it that way. Okay. Right. You can, right. If that works for the particular being that you are and whatever particular being who wrote those steps are, and that's doing it great. But no, you don't have to do that. You, you can, you can not have be anywhere near a computer or anybody else or anything else or any books or any, anything and not know anything about the whole ascension process or everything. And you still will be able to <laughs> raise your frequency vibration, maintain it, shift the frequency level. So the densities and the reality that you walk in and have physical body ascension. You don't need to read the book. <laughs> no, nope. whatever book that is. That, um, <laughs> All right, <laughs> not required. <laughs> there is a lot out there, you know. There's an awful lot out there right now about you know, uh, doing doing things this way and that way, you know, uh, to raise your vibrational frequency. You should, you know, eat all, you know, vegetables or eat raw all, all raw or eat all meat or uh, there's just all different kinds of ones <laughs> and so what i hear you saying really is it, it is kind of an well a an inside job and so it's going to it's going to vary for each individual right or it is or are there yeah some it's just it's a, a very good analogy you know um Having money, lots of money, doesn't make you a good person or a bad person. Okay. And having no money doesn't make you a good person or a bad person. If you have a great outlook on life and you are collaborative in nature and, and compassionate, empathic, and loving, you're going to do that whether you have a lot of money or no money. Right. Because it's, it's how... You you already walk. It's how it's your part of your energetic frequency makeup to begin with. Your service to others and so on and so forth. So yes, there are you know lots of different people out there have a lot of different their own perspectives, their own things that work for them, that work great. Put it this way: a lot of people say you know you need to meditate. Well, then I'm in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both, sister. I failed royally. Uh, I'm a, I'm a disaster and a miserable failure. And I guess I just have to give up. <laughs> yeah. I don't do so well. At, I don't do so hot on the meditation scene myself. Well, you know, and I, it occurred to me many, many, many years ago <laughs> that I do and get all the benefits of it, but I don't do it like it is in most books or most directions or whatever. I do it in my own way. Yeah. Once I stop beating myself up for the fact, because this was, you know, the one of the inner works has always been, you know, for eons, right? Yeah. That I can't do that, or I would try it and it didn't work, or whatever. I thought, you know, I mean, I really thought because that's a lot of ways years ago it used to be handed out, very, very strictly handed out. Well, no, you know, you're wrong, and you can't. This is no good. You've got to do this, or you know, you just can't move on. Yep. And I bought into that for a little bit. And then I thought, well, you know, hang on. <laughs> There's something wrong with that. Um, and then did more of what I was already doing anyways, because I was nudged to do it. And, and magical things happened when I did it. Yeah. You know, and actually, I remember probably in the late 90s, very late 90s, early 2000s, um, one of my first websites and, and a newsletter I had, um, it was before blogs and, and all that kind of, very beginning. But I used to write one of the weekly, it was a weekly newsletter, and one of the, I had sections to it. One of them was walking meditation with the dogs. And at the time, I had two white Labradors. And that was my way to do meditation. So I was up. I was awake. My eyes were open. I was walking in different places. I could actually have stop and have a momentary conversation with someone um, and still be in the meditation. And I can tell you that, you know, a lot of inspiration came. A lot of ideas came. A lot of crap went out, you know, drifted off. 
and um, a lot of abilities came online and all that stuff. I had my eyes open. I wasn't in a pretzel folded leg thing. I didn't have certain clothes on. I didn't have the right mat to sit on and, you know, so. Yeah, I tried the meditation thing and every time I try, I fall asleep. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that says for me. Yeah, I, I don't meditate the way everyone else does either. I just reframed what meditation is for myself right. and I crochet and right. I talk to people and I wash the dishes and right. I, I clean the house right. <laughs> and those are meditations for me. For me, it's a moving from the mind loops or the constant thinking into the heart and just being right. and then going with whatever inspiration comes to me in that, that moment. And for me, that's meditation. And that goes right back. That's a beautiful illustration that ties right back into how I started answering that question first. It's a way of being. Yes. So that's, you know, yes. what, it's, what it's all about. It's unfortunate, and it still is pretty pervasive today, which is, which is unfortunate given the shift in energies. Again, the same, a very common mantra and refrain is you have to do these things. Right. You know, if, if you're running around and your predominant habit is to spout out vitriol to yourself and everybody else around you, okay, I could probably see that one might be a good thing to put on the list of, you know, don't do that, right? Um, but again, that's because that's an energetic frequency, you know, and it, and it is all about your vibration, and it is all about shifting your vibration and raising your vibration. And everybody's going to be doing that at their own pace and some may be slow some may be really fast some may be like this and then go like this and like this and then go like this and some you know may feel that they've stepped backwards well they're really not because you can't well as you shift that and you hold it and you plateau and then you go on but sometimes you have that feeling of maybe going backwards because as you're hold, you're actually the way I would describe it is you're actually holding that frequency level. So you don't notice as quite as much expansion forward, but in the holding it. So huh, circling the wagons energetically comes to mind. And what you're doing is you're clearing out because you're in a toroidal field. That's your energy frequency is actually in toroidal field. You're actually going around and clearing, cleaning, polishing up, all of those areas of that toroidal energy frequency field at that moment, point, level, right, vibration, however you want to language it, there, and then you can go on. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. So that's, that, that just sounds so easy. Why, 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 why do you have to... <laughs> What, what, okay, the marketing thing, I guess, right? I mean, because I just, it just seems to me like there's, there's been, the, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I just got that. It's not just the marketing thing. My consciousness has changed. That's part of that. My comprehension of all of that has changed because my consciousness has expanded and now is, I, yeah, that's, that's okay. Because before I was like, what does everybody mean? I don't get it. <laughs> you know? Well, I mean, on a linear from a linear perspective, those things are occurring. I don't know why they're still occurring. I'm not sure what the propensity for that is. Um, you know, the way I create and connect and interact is to share something, not to sell it, not to convince you of it, and certainly not to tell you you must do this. The, you know, the only times I have absolutes like that is that you're a creator being and you gotta get over it. And you know, it's just the way it is. So, right. you know, um, but it, it's, it's actually a very simple, there's a lot of complexity to it, but it is a very simple, Thing to do we make it very complex now is it easy to do sometimes most times it's excruciatingly difficult yeah 
Well, that's and I would say that action. when you're at a point, when you're having doing something and you're feeling from this is again, from my perspective, when you're feeling that it's excruciatingly difficult, celebrate. Happy dance time, big time, because now you know you're onto something. Now you know that somewhere in that, whatever that is, that you're actually making lots of forward progress, even if it may be uh, showing up for you as either standing still or, you know, going backwards 90 miles an hour. Because in that feeling of excruciatingly difficult, mm -hmm. you actually are not, you're, because you're, here's a newsflash, you're a quantum being. So not only are you moving forward, but you're actually doing it on all of these levels all at once. Does that make sense? So, mm -hmm. so in that, in the eddy of that bit of energy and frequency that you're expanding and moving forward from, you're actually doing it on all different levels simultaneously. And as if your headache might not be blooming already, you're doing it, <laughs> you're doing it in, in different aspects of you simultaneously. So in your future selves, past selves, all that is being cleared out. Because it's being cleared out and integrated so that you can move on. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just taking that in for a minute. Okay. Allowing that to sink in. And we make it too complicated. We make it too complicated by some of the instructions that are given by people uh, that we read or watch or go to or whatever it is. Um, we make it too difficult because we buy into the line of you got to do the work instead of play. Um, you know. Well, that is true. You're the first person that I've come into contact with, with really specifically that would rather talk about playing than, than doing the work. Um, most, of, most everybody else makes it out to be this excruciating, you know, thing. And, uh, but we have video testimonials of exactly what it looks like, right? Yes. You know, there's a lot of expansion going on also. So, yes, because it can be. Playing is a different energy and frequency vibration. And so if you hold it that way and you set out that way, plus, you know, who hasn't had been in some kind of game where they're playing, right? And, you know, their pants are torn up, they got, you know, mud on their face and whatever, you know, cut. What, were you beat up or in an accident? No, I was playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, no, I there's, mean, there's, know. there's, a, there's, a, every mother out there says, well, it's all fun and games until somebody's in tears. Right. <laughs> well, I never said that, so. <laughs> well, I said there was a mother out there somewhere. I didn't say it was us. <laughs> However, those words may have come out of my mouth, I'm not guaranteeing it. I could judge the level of fun oftentimes by the amount of, yeah. Dirt on the, yeah, with you too. Dirt on the, uh, uh, you know, on, on the, the knees. On the knees, yeah. <laughs> so does that make more sense to asking? You know, you ask the question about that. Is that? Yeah, because it is. I mean, I I can see where it's. Uh, it's complex and yet simple all at the same time. I do get that. I do, I do, however, also comprehend at this moment of now how my, my intellect has made it a much harder job than it actually is. Yes. Yes. I, 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 I'm comprehending that quite a bit, actually. Yeah, and you don't corner the market on that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that, at least. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, I... Do either one of you have anything else to add? Because this has given me a lot to think about. I mean, I... I would say not comprehending it because I do. It's still. No, I, I would suggest we close it here. We could do another one where there's specific things that you could um, play into moving and tweak and create in your own way. You know that that aren't you know one in the steps to do it, but more broad range. But I think right now because because getting this piece helps with all of the other pieces. Because this piece and getting this piece is an inside job. <laughs> yeah, comprehending it because that, and that's a that is absolutely so. Because now I do I really I really have come to a, a comprehension about it, where I before I I was like, well, okay, whatever you guys say, but I don't get it. I still didn't get it, but I do now. And but I also know that I've had a lot of expansion over the last few months well in the last month in particular can you give a very like a, a two sentence what you get for for others well honestly i'm not even sure if i can put it into words that are going to make sense and I, I get that. I understood. That makes perfect sense to me. Partly, partly due to the fact that every time I've ever tried to put into language what I now comprehend. Because one's linear, one's quantum. And I'm, I, how I at this moment of now do not possess the ability to easily step back and forth between those two. I for a long time I I'm no I know that I did not think I was doing the work. I now I know that there are specific steps that I began to take when trying to erect boundaries for myself with other beings that would allow me to to do the work i didn't realize or comprehend at the time that i was doing that that that's what i was doing i can clearly see it now and and some of the interactions with some of those beings, because, you know, let's face it, there were lifetime interactions with some of these beings. And still now there are, are complexities to that that are not understood by those other beings. I, I, I comprehend as to why that is, too, because I didn't understand what I was doing and I was the one doing it. Mm -hmm. Sheila, you're the one of the hardest workers I've ever met in my life. Okay. She, she is dedicated to this like no other. Um, oh, what a sweet thing to say. You constantly are focused on this. And the uh, beings that you're referring to are not at all spending time in that space. So for, for me... I try to feel my way through this instead of think my way through. <laughs> well, that's because because you're doing the, it wrong. If you're thinking yeah, because the mind for me is linear, <laughs> and the heart is quantum, yes. and the heart feels it doesn't think, right. and it doesn't analyze, the heart and it knows. doesn't argue. The heart knows <laughs> or force tries to figure it out, and 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 in there lies the problem. Yep. <laughs> Well, but see now, and maybe maybe I haven't comprehended a few things correctly until this moment of now either, because it you mean has from the last few moments ago. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm actually asking. Yeah, that. 
seriously. Well, I, well, I'm, I'm, I'm actually now referring to what Lisa is speaking to because I, and I, I too have thought that I was too much up in here and I, I still may be okay. I, I really don't know. But, but now Lisa has been here and has seen what I'm doing. So, and how I behave and what, I mean, really what I'm, what, whatever this work really is for me, how I'm going about it. And it has been said of me that I'm too much up here and not enough in here. And I've bought that. And because I I don't know why I felt the need to put others opinions or thoughts in regards to who and what I am above my own. However, that has stopped. And I now feel very strongly that I have been doing hmm, whatever my own version of the work is, as I can clearly see and feel and sense my own growth in this. I can see and feel and sense my own expansion in it. So I'm no longer concerned about that. I, I, I used to be. Well, I'd like to add something here as I think it's a valuable thing to bring to all's attention okay i think a lot of alls have already seen it but <laughs> but i'll flag it here and bring it attention thank you and speaking with you speaking about you in particular sheila mm -hmm. you do a beautiful job which is why i like to come and play of doing the work in not knowing that you're doing the work in being right out there with the work and letting people ride along and see the work so that they can use it as a metaphor for their own work. So you're a great um, book, manual, course, <laughs> how to, so fast. you know what I mean? In, in that, in, you know, in that, as a metaphor for that, yeah. Because things, conversations, people can see those things and experience it and then see where it lights them up or... Um, you know, how things uh, trigger them wherever it is in a, in a good way and in, in an expansive way, in a bad way, and, you know, in a, in a winding them up kind of a way. And throughout all of it, yeah, sometimes you, you're in your brain and, and you're absolutely in your brain and your body is nowhere near any of the rest. The heart is not even in the room. <laughs> but, no, no, I point that out because it's very important because you're so in tune with doing, to use your phrase, the work, that even when that's the case, even when the heart and not even come in the building to not leave the building, right? The brain is so committed to it that it still tries on and holds things and will hear them even if they don't sink in yet. So just, and that's where a good example, that's a good illustration of playing with it, which is why I say I'm, I'm happy to come play with you, right? Because literally is it's playing in that dance of doing the work. And in those moments when your heart isn't in the building, the brain is so committed to doing the work, whether it understands it on a cognitive level or not, doesn't matter, right. that there is no shutting down. There yes. is no pushing away. There's, I don't get it, or, you know, there's playing with it. You know, you play with it from different sides. And that's very cool. That is a beautiful way to describe it, BZ. I personally have grown so much through this relationship with Sheila because it is her willingness to play, her openness, her love, even like you said, her heart is not in the building, but and yet love is ruling the day. I don't know. There's a magical thing that you got going on there that 
we, we can get to going and we can be pulling in energy from all over the place together and I can expand and you expand and I feel like we just start bringing beings from all over the place in and expand all over the place. And that is playing. There, there, there is a, I don't know, it's, a, it's so exciting. I'm just really eternally grateful to you for that. So. And that's your training. That's your training. And that's why this is one of your missions. And the beauty of it all in, in the um, sharing and videoing the, the playing process, the work process, right? Okay, it's a silly thing, but I'm going to use it. The, the work process. Because even when you're not there, and even when the heart isn't even in the building, you're in that playing because it is your mission. And on a lot of levels, you did accept it, although we actually saw you re-accept it on camera, right? Yes. That, well, that makes it perfect. I mean, if you're going to design a mission, and you're going to design some of the things that, that are there for that mission to be carried out, you have to kind of have it where your heart's not in the building to fulfill that mission, don't you? Yeah, apparently. I mean, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you you're did. so funny. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I'm not disagreeing because I'm, I, well, yeah, no, there's a lot. This is big though for me. I, this is bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Yeah, I can feel myself. So right there, I'm gonna stop you right there. So so if everybody kind of he can hit your back button and, and watch that part just in the last minute or so and up. But even in that, so Sheila doesn't not feel and see from here what Lisa and I see and I'm trying to illustrate paint a word picture for people of I, I, I could feel a lot of people already can see that yes. and they're going oh yeah okay you haven't come around but again in that and you will you know you'll go oh I get it you know and the, right it, it may be a little while but but what <laughs> but in the playing of it right right now Again, you're to your mission role, your mission parameters, right? Your mission objective, even in this space of not quite completely standing in what my word picture is painting, there is not the shutting down reflex. Mm -hmm. And there is the sensing, so you can sense it, you know, the enormity of it, because this one's a big one. This one is as big, no, it's probably bigger than owning up to part of the mission was. Yeah, no, I feel that. I did not feel when I, I did not feel when I originally asked to talk about this, that it was this big. <laughs> Let's just say that right now. <laughs> I and yet and still you confidently threw it right out there and we jumped in. <laughs> so why don't we I, why I'm don't busy. we close this if that works, why don't we close this energetic envelope here? We can open another one, but yeah. Yes, I would like to do that. But as we before we close, I just want to say that I in this moment of now the in relation to my chart to my natal chart mm -hmm. i i see very clearly why i veiled myself and if anyone wants to know what i'm talking about just go back and 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 look at the one uh i packed what in my toolkit <laughs> and uh yeah okay well uh Wow. It's going to take me a minute. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I'll just say thank you to the two of you and uh, close this one out okay. and say that I will have uh, information on. I'm sorry, ladies. This is bigger than I thought it was going to be. 
it feels huge and I, I know it's just starting to uh, take over me a little. So, hmm. You're doing wonderful. Well, I'll have information on BC's blog in the show more section and Lisa's two blogs in the show more section. My email address will be there and how to join Conscious Conversation Central Facebook page if you would like. And yeah, there'll be, a, I'm sorry, there'll be a subscribe button uh, and comment about this video if you feel led. Uh, and if you prefer to do it privately, you're always welcome to contact me at my email address. I'm a, I am going to close this out, but we have to take a, a break for a second. Okay, guys. <laughs>